Hi Virgos, this is your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, let me just adjust my camera a little bit. Okay. So Virgos, the first message card that we have for you is confusion. We have cycles. unstable and choice okay give me one moment because I just made a mess with the ashes and they're everywhere and I don't want to get them on the cards but I'm looking at your cards that were on the top row Virgos and I see that either you guys are confused about a connection that you're in or your partner is okay so your partner could have more than one choice and they're trying to make up their mind about who they're going to have a connection with i don't know it's still ashes everywhere but we're just going to keep moving okay so confusion cycles unstable choice yeah your partner is um unstable okay but this is something that you probably already know i'm not telling you nothing that you don't know if you're watching this reading because um, you're here for messages or to sort of figure out what could be going on, right? So someone is confused, but they feel like they're running out of time. So they either feel like you're getting away. Maybe you told this person that you're leaving. Maybe you guys aren't talking, okay? So I see that you're in a cycle with this person, okay? Something just keeps going back and forth here. Maybe you guys can't figure out how to make this connection stable. And the reason why this is happening is because there is more than one choice here. Maybe you know or you don't know, okay? But this person has more than one person to choose from. Or either you have more than one person to choose from. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with each and every Virgo out there. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Switch the roles as need be. But I'm seeing that um, the clock is winding down and someone is going to make a decision about where they want to be and who they want to be with this month. Okay. I'm picking up the energy that this is going to happen in the second or third week of October. If you're not talking to this person, you could definitely get some type of communication from them because I'm also looking um, at the bottom row here. And I see messages as one of your cards. That is the communication card. Now you also have fate. You have divine union. So something is meant to be. But I feel like because this person is so confused and unstable that it may not even seem like this is your soulmate or this is meant to be. But you have the will of fortune here. This is fate destiny something that's meant to be then we have a divine union here okay two people that are meant to go on a journey in this lifetime um there's a sacred connection here okay this is the lovers in this deck and i'm just picking up the energy that with this back and forth between you and this person and them needing to make a choice between you and someone else Somebody is coming in between you guys' connection and it's causing this guy to be confused. And like I said, if this is not you, then this could be your partner feeling this way about you. Somebody is causing confusion here, okay? But I'm also seeing that in this confusion card, there are three clocks and this person is holding their head. So they know that time is nearing for them to make a decision or something's going to blow, something's gonna be out of control. Maybe they feel like they're gonna lose you. You're gonna walk away from them, choose someone else if they don't make this choice now we do have love ignites and messages so this tells me that someone is going to be communicating with you contacting you in some sort of way and the love is going to ignite between the two of you so if you're thinking that things are over i don't think they are I just think that this person is not telling you what their intentions are and the reason why they're not telling you is they don't really know they really don't because this is all about decisions with this choice card so it's like someone has a decision to make and you're wondering maybe some of you maybe you're not wondering some of you may not even care you may have walked away maybe you're tired of waiting for this person but I feel like some of you are wondering if this person is going to choose you or someone else 
But I don't see you standing still, Virgo. In the meantime, I do see that you're moving forward. And that's the problem. This person, well, it's not a problem for you. <laughs> it's a problem for them. Because I feel like this person knows it. They're aware of it. They're aware that you're moving forward. You're not waiting on them. Maybe you've waited on them in the past. And they were so used to that. And now they're seeing that you're not. You're moving forward. You may not have called this person or contacted them. I'm also picking up the energy that some of you got into an argument with this person. There could have been a tower moment for the two of you. And this is what has this person afraid. They're scared. They're confused. They're like, okay, I got to hurry up and make this decision. But I don't know what choice to make. And I feel like when it all comes down to the wire, this person is going to choose you. Because we have communication here. And then we also have love ignites so something starts over okay you may not even feel like this is going to happen i feel like you don't see this coming i feel like your mind is set on walking away from this person but they're going to come in and talk to you about something that will make you either change your mind or possibly give them another chance against your better judgment for some of you not for all okay everyone's situation is not going to be the same but i'm picking up the energy that some of you are definitely going to give this person another chance because it's not that you don't love them it's just that you're tired of doing this with them you're tired of going around in the same cycle and you're tired of things being unstable all right um let's get into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about your situation Virgos. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos for the month of October? What is it that they need to know about their situation and their partner? Okay, so this wanted to jump out. The King of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. You may be waiting for this person to contact you. Um, they also may making you think that things are over. This person likes to be in charge. They like to be the leader. So this person may be acting. Um, it's like they may be making you wait on purpose, being manipulative. So we have the sun. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. And we have the fool. New beginnings. Fresh start. I'm telling you, this person is not going anywhere with that fool card. We have the sun. So we have king of wands with two major arcanas. For some of you, it's a Leo with the sun card. If not then there's going to be prosperity, abundance, and rejuvenation in this connection between you and this person. And look, Ten of Cups, can't make it up. Some of you are dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? The Ten of Cups is what they want with you. I feel like this person made you wait and you're pissed off and you're angry because not only did they make you wait, but I feel like you went through a lot with this person back and forth, like just this roller coaster type of love like um things were so on and off between you and them it's like you didn't know whether you didn't know what to feel about this connection you didn't know what it was like what you meant to this person but someone is coming back in to make things right and i feel like it's going to shock you i'm picking up the energy it's like things are like really bad between you and this person and then it turns around and you don't even trust it because you've had so many bad times with them but someone wants to come back in and fix something. So they could be going through an awakening or an ascension or just some bad karma. And it's like they know it's time to fix the situation. All right, so let's see. So we have the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, you cannot make this up. Somebody wants to come back in. Somebody's not talking, but they're coming back in as a Knight of Cups. They're coming back in as this knight in shining armor. It's like, you're not going to believe them, though. I know I wouldn't. It's not like they took me through all of this crap. And then all of a sudden, they come back in like this knight in shining armor saying they want the ten of cups with me. I feel like you're going to make this person prove it, though. Because you still love them. So you're like, okay, if you want to come back in, then prove it. Yeah, so we have the five of swords here. I feel like in the past, with this five of swords, maybe you could have been dealing with an air sign a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. But if not, it's like this person just kept going back and forth and being very manipulative. Remember in the beginning of the reading, I said um, with the message cards, I felt like someone had this manipulative energy. It's like they wanted to win. Whenever they did something wrong, they didn't want to apologize. Um, they would do things to you. You would call them out on it. They would run away. Or they would like not come around you for a couple of days or not call you thinking that that would fix the situation. We also have pride and ego with this five of swords. 
So I feel like someone is, it's like someone's ego is getting deflated. <laughs> or someone's ego is being deflated by some karma or something. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? What messages do you have for Virgos? Virgos, October. Queen of Wands. So we have a suit. We have a pair here, the king and the queen. So I feel like you're just as confident as this other person is, and they're starting to see that now. Maybe they didn't see that before when they were in this five of swords energy, but now they're seeing your confidence. They're seeing that you're moving forward, that even if you love them, you're still not going to put up with their BS, Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, but if not, um, you could just have a lot of fire in your chart, and maybe your person does as well. But both of you guys are moving forward confidently, but this person is coming back in towards you. You may think this person forgot all about you. If not forgot about you, you may have thought they chose someone else over you because of that confusion card and them having a choice to make. Yeah, because they were confused here with the Two of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo Tars or a Capricorn. Or like I said, this connection was just always up and down. For some of you, this could be a marriage as well because I'm picking up that energy to where as though you may be feeling like this marriage is over, but it's not. This person comes back in and shocks you and they want to fix things. And like I said, I don't feel like you're going to believe them. I feel like you're going to make them work for it this time. It's like, you know, since this person had... I feel like if you're separated from this person, Virgo, since you guys have had time apart to think about things, it's like you've come accustomed to being alone, like you're dealing with it and you're getting through it. And with this queen of wands energy, I feel like this is you and you're more um, confident. It's like, whereas before you could have been worrying been in the eight of swords energy or nine of swords energy trying to figure out like what am I going to do if I lose this connection you know am I going to be okay will I meet someone else and I feel like because you took this break from this person or this separation or whatever this was for you you've grown into a spiritual alignment so whereas though you are just working on yourself you're evolving um you could just be focused on what you want it could be school it could be a hobby um a new job or a, a new a business maybe you're you have something going on here is what i'm seeing i don't know what it is and there's going to be something different for everyone but i just feel like you're putting yourself first and maybe this person sees that you're not focused on them anymore look at that ton of you <laughs> my intuition and and energy is on point. When I said you are focused on yourself, you got the nine of pentacles. I feel like this is you in this reading, this queen of wands. And with this nine of pentacles, this person sees that you can do fine on your own. You don't really need them. It's like you're with them because you want to be. But when this person decided to walk away from you, ghost you, or just like not put the energy, time, and effort in, I feel like you decided to be okay with it this time. You know, you weren't at first. I feel like you might have been down about the situation. And then you figured like, I have no choice. I have to move on. I have to get past this. And see, and this is what this person is seeing now. Because Seven of Pentacles is here. So they are reevaluating this connection. Um, this could be the both of you. Reevaluating this connection, but for different reasons. You could be reevaluating this connection because now you're seeing your worth. Now you're like, okay, I have to be good on my own. If this person keeps um, keeps deciding to walk away from me, I'm not going to keep chasing them, okay? But I feel like they're reevaluating this connection because they're confused. They're starting to realize this is a divine union and they have to make a choice between you and another person. And I feel like they know that you're the person to choose. They don't want you to get away. It's something about this situation where I'm picking up the energy of whoever you were dealing with. It's like they don't want to see you with anybody else. They know that you're a good person. They know what you offer, what you have to bring to the table. And they know they're not going to be able to replace you is what I'm picking up on here. Spare, what messages do you have for Virgos? What messages do you have for Virgos? Oh, 
the Ace of Swords. Someone is coming back with some truth and some clarity. Okay, they're ready to talk to you now. They're ready to be honest. They're ready to tell you what they want. And here we are with the Nine of Wands. You're going to be very guarded. Okay, and the reason why you're going to be guarded, Virgo, is because you've heard it all before. You've seen it all. And you're like, listen, I'm not going to put up with your crap anymore. I'm not going to listen to your lies. I'm not going to play your games. And if you come in and you say you're going to do something, I'm going to keep my eyes on you and I'm going to watch you. And if you don't do it, I'm going to walk away. Because with this Nine of Wands, this is someone that has been through a lot. And if it wasn't with this person, it could have been with someone before them. But whatever the situation is, it's like you can spot some buffoonery a mile away. And it's like you're not putting up with it anymore. And I feel like this person knows it. Because now some of you are calling somebody out on things that they're doing. Maybe something that you were ignoring before because you really wanted to be with this person. Now you're fed up, you're sick and tired, and you're calling them out on everything. And they know it. You're not letting them get away with anything. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. This nine of wands. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? What messages do you have for Virgos? What do they need to know in the month of October? Yeah, I just keep picking up the energy of someone coming back around to you. We have the four swords here. Okay, so with this four swords, I feel like you've been healing um, whatever this person put you through, you've been resting, thinking, and now you know what you want and what you don't want. We have the Three of Cups. <laughs> wow. We have the Three of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. New, new all around you. Okay, someone's coming back in, but you could have a choice of more than one person. Okay, we have this Ace of Cups here. We have this Three of Cups and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, it's going to be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and for others, it's going to be a Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you have a new beginning. Now, you either have a new beginning with someone from your past or you have a new beginning with a totally different person. But whatever it is, you've done the work. The universe is giving this to you. You deserve it. Okay, this person's put you through a lot. So with these two aces, well, you've had three aces so far because you had the ace of swords, the ace of cups, and the ace of pentacles. So I see new all around you guys. But guess what? Somebody's hanging on to you with the four of pentacles. They don't want to let you go. They do not want to let you go. We have the four of wands, the six of wands, and the three of wands. For some of you, this is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but um, this Four of Wands is all about stability. So I feel like because this person feels like you're getting away, it's like they want something stable with you now. Now, this is something that you were trying to get out of them before. And all of a sudden, because you don't want it anymore, you're you're not chasing after them or you don't, you're not acting like you care or you're not texting them. Whatever it is that you used to do, Virgo, that you're not doing anymore, they're picking up on the energy. Okay, because now they want this victory with you. They want to be successful in this connection with you, with this six of wands. And then we also have this three of wands. So I feel like someone is waiting for you to contact them or they're waiting to contact you, but they don't, I don't know if this person is not sure on what to say to you or what. We're about to pull some um, oracle cards though and see what else this person could possibly be thinking or wanting to say to you but not saying. I feel like someone is being extremely quiet here. Could be you, Virgo, being stubborn or the person that you're dealing with. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? What messages do you have for Virgos? What do they need to know in the month of October? Oh my goodness, wait. Okay, I thought it was more than, uh, I thought it was a lot. It's not. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands, which is communication. Like I said before, you're going to get communication from this person this month. Now, it's going to be up to you whether you want to deal with this person, Virgo, okay? But they're coming in and they're really emotional. This person could come to you uh, with an apology with this Queen of Cups, okay? And like I said, for some of you, it's going to be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Two of Cups. This person wants a reunion with you. But they're confused with this Eight of Swords, but that's not going to stop them. They feel stuck here. I feel like some of you, 
may be in a connection where the person that you're dealing with, they're in a committed situation, but they're, I don't feel like they're happy because there's something here about someone feeling stuck. They're asking themselves, should I stay or should I leave? But my two of cups awaits me on the opposite side. So it's like you could have a connection with this person. They could really be in love with you, but maybe something is stopping them from coming your direction. It could be where they're in some type of committed situation where they find it hard to get out of. I'm picking up the energy that someone may be um, feeling like they're stuck in a situation due to obligations. Not because they really love this person. And I know that's sad to say, but that's what I'm picking up on here. I feel like this person loves you and wants to be with you, but they find it hard to leave the situation that they're in because they're going to have to go through so much. Maybe this they're going to have to go through a divorce. They may lose everything. Um, maybe they're in a situation with someone where they're not going to be able to see their children or they may lose their home. But someone wants the two of cups with you. They see you as their soulmate. They're confused, but they're coming. Okay, so you're gonna have a communi um you're gonna have a communication. <laughs> you're gonna have communication with this person. There's gonna be a conversation that you're gonna have with them. Okay. And I feel like you're gonna tell this person, like, listen, this is your problem. You know, you're in that committed situation with that person, not me. Make up your mind what you want because we can't sit in this energy forever. And the thing about it is this person's not really stuck. They're in their head about this situation because there is a decision that they have to make. And they're not sure how it's going to turn out for them. That's what it is. I feel like this person is afraid of how this situation is going to turn out. It's not that they don't love you and that they don't want to be with you. It's they know that they have something that they got to do in order to be with you. Okay. All right. So we're going to pull some message cards before it closes out and see what this person is feeling and thinking. Spirit, what is Virgo's partner feeling and thinking? What is it that they want them to know? Spirit, what is Virgo's partner feeling and thinking? What is Virgo's partner feeling and thinking? Oh, that wanted to flip out. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So whatever this person did to you, Virgo's, they're sad about it. They're realizing it and they're not going to let you go. They want to come in. They want to make something up to you. It's like they want to talk to you about something, but they know what they've done. And so they don't know if you're going to accept them or reject them. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. So they've sort of been stalking you a little bit. Just see if you're talking to anybody, you know, see what you're posting, see who's liking it. Spirit, what does Virgo's partner want them to know? The grass wasn't green on the other side. Yeah, it wasn't. Whoever they're dealing with, like I said, I don't feel like they love this person. I feel like they love you, but it's like a situation that they have to get out of. Oh my goodness. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. I'm telling you, this person... Okay, let's pull two more. This person wants you back. I've thought a lot about you lately. Yeah, because they want to come back in. They just don't know. Look at that. Would you reject me? See, they know whatever they put you through, they know that you're fed up and you're tired and you're not taking it no more. <laughs> and like you're done with their ass. So whatever they come back in with, it got to be good. It got to be right. It's like it got to make sense because if it doesn't, you're leaving them alone. You're walking away because now you have realized like, well, wait a minute. I've been putting in all of this time, effort and energy to this person, giving them my love, like having their back. And, you know, the way they did you, whatever happened in this situation, you're finally realizing like this is some bullshit. It's not fair. I'm not dealing with it. And you're ready to walk away and, you know, take your chances. And I feel like some of you may have another choice besides this person. And maybe they're picking up on that and they know it. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.